Well, it's mail time, but this isn't actually mail. This was UPS. But I, I just got a message from their buying. But it's been sending stuff, asking if I got a package that he sent UPS. And <laughs> I hadn't expected it, but, you know, I haven't expected any of these, but... I, it was funny because when I actually went out to get mail earlier, I saw tracks in their driveway and I just took it for granted it was turkey hunters scouting because that opens next weekend. <laughs> and you know, it was shipped, this evidently is the explosive label. Tannerite. No, I've never used that stuff. But I'm good enough to blow it up to hell. And this must be oh it's it's like tannerite, I think, but it's it's 22. You know it'll fire with a lower velocity. It's a little bit windy. So, 22 Magnum, which I have heard is hard to get. Okay, Calibre. Now, I think these are the ones, the Aguila, that are supposed to be quiet. Yeah, 20 grain bullet. Well, very similar to that little bullet that was in that mold. Aguila. Yeah, I actually never see them for sale around here. That's something new. Here's the Gila Maximum Velocity, Hyper Velocity. Yeah, I don't know. That brand is something I don't ever see. More 22 Magnum. This was a heavy box. <laughs> Ammunition adds up. Mini mags, which you can't go wrong with. Mysterious little packets, which actually might be a priming compound, but I'll have to look. He's got a note in here, but it's gray like it could be. And more mini mags. Stinger. Well, the hollow point. Yeah. 12 gauge. Tracer cartridges. Well, that's new to me. I never knew they made such a thing. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Two and three quarter. Well, at least it certainly work in my old 97, but. Yeah, that's, that's new to me. Nine millimeter, strange little box. But no, I don't know if the strange little box contains, if it would be macro or, well, that's odd looking stuff. Or are they? They're on stripper clips. I hate to wreck the box. Well, no, it isn't actually a stripper clip. It's just a way of holding them in there. But I'm actually going to have to measure these to see what in the devil they are. Or he's got a note in here. It might be in there, but... That certainly looks like it's Russian. And it does say 9 millimeter, but that's an odd little holder. It looks like stripper clips, but it's a metal holder, evidently. Well, again, new to me. More stingers. Standard Velocity 22, which, boy, you don't hardly ever see anymore. 
you know, 10, 70 feet per second. You know, we used to be able to buy them so cheap that Remington Golden Bolts, the 22 shorts. <laughs> I'm getting well stocked up on 22. Okay, CCI Quiet, 710 feet per second. No, you're on something like that too, that Stevens, it'd just be a whisper. Okay. Some big block of something. I'm quite sealed up. Well, if he keeps providing me, I won't even have to reload. Well, there's no label or nothing on these. Well, or something that must mean something. Okay, these have got to be those rounds like you said before that were on those stripper clips. That are the 8 millimeter. No, they look like Mosin. Steel case Mosin. Though I can't hardly read anything on them, but that certainly looks like a Mosin. Yeah. Yeah, that's different. I don't know where he gets this oddball stuff. I think I've heard of these before. There, there are multiple boxes of these. But, yeah, many boxes of them. But they get written out here someplace. Yeah. Yeah, 46 grain Czech hollow core trading ammo. But it's got to be a Mosin with a rim on it. They feel light too. But I, I think I had heard of these. Uh, and he wrote on the box, corrosive, which, you know, a lot of that stuff is. But I'm going to have to do some investigating. But that certainly is a load of curiosities. Man, there's got to be 10, 12 boxes of this stuff. You know, this is really we're good. You know, a lot of times you get people up here shooting that, you know, they want to shoot, but you go and, and load them up. And they like to shoot the Mosin, especially with the bayonet on it. It's just so cool. Long gun with a pointy thing on the end. But they don't want to do it for long. Well, these they can plink away with. I'll try one of them on these days. I'm well stocked again of various curious things. Yeah, I'm curious about these 22 quiets. Yeah, it's always good to have more. I have heard that these 22 magnums are hard to find. You know, I still have some. Oh man, they got a big hollow point on them too. You know, I've got some of the small hollow point. I don't know if you can see it, but they're huge hollow point. They would really expand. And this mystery stuff, we hope he explains. But it's a binary compound of some kind. It might be to do with a tannerite, but I don't know. And tracer 12 gauge. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. I don't know why they would have ever made such a thing. Unless you were shooting like a, an automatic and kept missing <laughs> your clay pigeons. Fiochi. Hmm. 
Try one of them. And this has got me curious. Because I have never seen anything quite like that. And even, even just that holder is weird. Well, it's funny because they're... Well, they're really jammed in there. But the blue sealer, the black paint, but there's a metal bullet under there. And that is Russian right. I'm pretty sure, or something of that ilk. Yeah, I'm going to have to look into this. I, I know that they make some, you know, because normal tannerite doesn't go off. Uh, with the 22, it takes a certain velocity. But I know somebody was making some that actually worked with the 22. And this is 22 sensitive. But they look to be the same. Well, maybe that's what these two packets are for. I don't know, you know, because I'm sure, you know, that stuff is normally done in the binary, in binary format like what this stuff is. <laughs> it's funny, I just saw a video someplace where somebody's shooting a lawnmower filled with tannerite and took a leg off. You know, people, some toys can be a little dangerous. But we'll see. <laughs> All kinds of projects there.